good. You gonna grill me? Yeah. Hey, I've heard about you guys. I'm terrified. I met up with the president in Cleveland. What's your name? He had come there to sell his economic plan to the local media there. But the questions I brought with me from Columbia dealt with what kids care about, starting with some advice about how to get to be president someday. Mr. Clinton had three suggestions. Working campaigns, get to know people, and to be a dedicated student. Study very hard in school and learn a lot about a lot of things. Develop your mind. It's not so important what you study as that you, you learn to use your mind because we're living in a world that's changing very rapidly. And you have to be able to think well and to reason well. Since school is the key to his advice for success, I asked how she would make our schools better. The president has to be a supporter of education and has to create a climate in the country so that the states and the local school districts have the support from their people to raise the money they need for the schools. Well, how will your education plan attract the best people to become teachers? Well, it will do a couple of things. First of all, it will make teaching more attractive by supporting improvements in education. And secondly, it will provide special incentives for people to pay off their college loans by teaching, especially in underserved areas. Students in my school are very interested in protecting the environment. We can try to promote <clears throat> worldwide cleaner air. The best way to do that is to, to be a part of an international effort to stop the emission of greenhouse gases into the air. I've committed to the United States to that. Secondly, we can try to preserve the plant and animal diversity of our planet, especially in the rainforests and in other places in the United States. And we're working on a global effort to do that. Something that's hard for me to imagine is what life as a family must be like in the White House. But President Clinton told me it's not as odd as you might think. Family life, um, in some ways, it's, it's easier for us than it was before because I live where I work and my wife is working with me now, so we are all together more, a little more, although we're working very hard. But I get Chelsea up every morning, just like I have all her life, and uh, I, can, I come home for dinner at night, and uh, we spend the weekends together. Yesterday we went to church together, then we went to an art gallery together, and then we played around and worked, the, did, did chores around the house yesterday afternoon, just like normal families do on Sunday. For my last question, I asked if the president could pass only one law, what would it be? He took a while to come up with an answer, but finally went back to his main economic message. I would pass an economic policy that would make our families secure, would give every family uh, a job and health care so that we could have a strong economy. Sam and I were impressed that the president had prepared for our interview and spent some extra time chatting with us. Rex and Angela, back to you. I see that that's great. It's wonderful. Look out for my job. I've got some competition here. <laughs> How did you get the interview? I